Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backlog Bells run and today I'm gonna try to do the holy healing build with the Pyromancer so that means we're gonna get a bunch of wooden swords so let's get a wooden sword here, we also got a lump of coal early not a torch, not a torch, a burning coal and uh, let's roll into the good old uh, shells, boom Did, I mean we found a shell right away, exactly, ask and receive style let's go here and we're gonna also buy a banana because energy is guaranteed gonna be needed and also I want to buy the blindness here that I'm uh, seeing on sale because I will be a blind build. Uh, we're gonna buy this, definitely, and also let's buy healing or region, it's gonna be very relevant too. Do I want economy? I mean, theoretically I want economy, practically will I be able to? I think early game is mainly used for wooden swords and shiny shells, so let's not do that. And let's go into the run. Actually, economy is gonna be needed at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure, yeah, let's buy this, this is very, very early. I'm not sure if I will even get enough money to buy that, though. Anyway, let's go into this fight. We have a double sword build plus a healing in a moment. And a banana healing us. They only have damage. They only have shielding with a the garlic. Theoretically, we should outheal them. I also have one regen that rolled from the lump of coal. Uh, so, yeah, that should be a win. Very nice. We also have the poison there helping us out. Quick and win. Quick and easy. Nice, and I got another wooden sword on sale. That's insanely lucky for us. And here's the first shell totem. So, in case you don't know what this is, every three seconds, if your health is above 70%, gain in power. Otherwise, heal for eight. Very powerful, very busted, and it also becomes cheaper the more holy items you have. So that's where we're going holy build. Uh, I'm gonna buy the inventory space for sure, uh, the sword for sure, and I would say let's let the region on the side for now. Uh, let's go with the piggy bank for the economy. Uh, is that true though? I think I want the healing urban just wall. Yeah, let's actually just high roll it, uh, hopefully, I mean, let's go, boom. And we found a chili pepper, and we also found pocket sand. I'm gonna go full on deep into blind idea, so um, we definitely want that, the blindness. I don't care about this, we're gonna buy these two next and roll, I would say. Although, is it really important to get a pocket sand? I mean, this is permanent blindness, yeah, let's take that. 5% is damage taken from melee hits, we're gonna be anti uh, yeah, we're gonna be super blind uh, inducing. We're gonna be anti everything, <laughs> anti hits, anti attack build. Uh, we have one empower here, so theoretically we should have enough damage. Now we have empower issue, uh, stamina issues, of course, but something's gonna fire. Am I right? Then we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Uh, maybe I should not have a double sword going into this. Uh, we're we'll definitely go with the chili pepper here. That gives us healing, and uh, mainly it gives us heat. And let's also go with another blind sand. And we're gonna continue with this play. I do I want a blueberry? Do I care about mana and or luck? I mean, I don't care about mana and or luck, but what I do care about is making these faster. And one coin, 10% attack speed is definitely a yes in my book. So let's make this an actual yes. So that's 20% attack speed on those. And uh, let's go. I will uh, not get that many shell totems, honestly. But uh, yeah, this guy already is mostly taken over here. But getting the wooden swords in general is good because I can make them into prismatic swords if need be. Uh, so let's go on. Now I'm actually gaining this empower because this guy is not doing fa damage fast enough. So now I have three empower here. Four empower, even better. So now I'm doing four damage every time I attack. A five empower, come on, smack him. It's a race now, and we won that race. Also, we got the chili removing debuffs. And did I have 11 heat? Yep, this removes debuffs at 10 heat, and I had 11. So that was actually happening. Uh, here, I would say, let's go with the leather bag and the region. No, let's go with the leather bag only. For one coin, once again, attack speed. That's a yes. I previously literally explained why. So we're gonna go here, I would say. Uh, although I wanted to be boosting the chili alongside the banana, that's pretty hard to do. I think, uh, is it? Th yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think we can do that. Might be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, though. Uh, so right now I'm uh, opting into it, boosting the banana over the chili, is what's happening. We're gonna go here for the max life. Do I care about this? No, we definitely want the lump of coal, as that's gonna improve... Yeah, that's, that's better heat gain than any other heat gain anyway. So uh, let's go here, and uh, you can be a bit far out. Actually, this should be far out, and he should be inside, because whatever is inside of the zone gives us max health if it's a fire item. Roll him, and I found another cheap pocket sand. And we got an oil lamp, gaining south battle gain to heat, and every three seconds weapon gains one damage and five accuracy. Do I need a damage accuracy boosting thing? What's the weapon of choice? Most likely the weapon of choice, at least my idea right now, is going to be... The lightsaber is what I'm thinking of making it uh, a weapon of choice. So I'm not really sure what we should do here. Mm, let's not take this. Let's try to opt into the holy items right now. This costs only one coin, by the way. So we definitely keep that. 
sell the heat. We're gonna get enough heat. Right now we uh, inflict 15 blind at the start of uh, three blind. That's 15% less damage on the opponents. I don't think I care about the oil lamp. It's good, uh, but I don't think I want it. Three second minions. Yeah, no, no. Let's let's go away from this. Uh, I want to get more shells. I need to find more shells, honestly. We need to find two more shells and we're going away from getting common items very quickly here. This guy has three blinds, so that's 15% less chance to hit us. This is 70% accuracy. And as long as this guy is not hitting us, we are gaining in power. So as long as I maintain my life total at a high amount, we're just gaining damage. More and more and more and more damage. Another thing I was thinking about doing as a weapon would be the Phoenix, by the way. So Phoenix could also really fit into this idea. So we need more heat generation, of course. And we got an easy win out of that. Very nice. And you're gone. Let's go to the next one. And we found one of those. I don't think I care about that. Let's get a stamina pack. So we have some stamina. So we don't have issues because the shell totems use stamina. We don't care about any of these. Uh, let's roll. Although I could also go with the thorn blade. Nah, let's, let's try to maybe get a phoenix or something. We found another lump of coal. That's really good in general, because Lump of Coal in, uh, gives you, at, uh, after 5 seconds, it gives you 2 heat and cleanses 3 debuffs. So if the opponents turbo debuff us, we're gonna turbo debuff it off. Uh, even more region. Why am I getting a bunch of region? Or I could do uh, an impractically large greatsword, because I'm gonna be generating heat. Uh, not heat, generating shell totems, you know. So maybe Box of Riches also fits. Maybe later. For now, I need to find my shell totems. 45% chance. Well, we are not finding them. That's not really good. We're gonna still go for inventory as we do have inventory issues anyway. Uh, I do think we have a very good early game though. We have like four food items that are pretty powerful. We got the shell totem giving us some power. Like my early game is through the roof here. This guy has a torch which theoretically should scale faster than what we do. Uh, but let's see, I have 5 in power, he has a torch, 7 to 8 damage, my wooden sword is 6 to 8 damage. So we're doing the same damage, I have 14 heat, they have 12, I also have other buffs, they do not. Uh, so we should be winning theoretically, practically we're gonna see right now. Uh, it was a race that we actually won from fatigue, fatigue draw was the way we won. Can we see what exactly happened here? I think some, yeah we fell a bit off there at the end, I guess stamina issue was the thing that almost killed us. Uh, they were very consistent, almost outscaled us at the very end. They had more DPS than us, but we definitely had more healing. We had 4.5 healing, they had 2.7. So yeah, healing kept us in the game. I need more regen. Uh, we found... I don't care about the mana game though. Uh, let's go here and let's roll them. I found an anti-spikes. And we also found another coal. Obviously, we're gonna get another coal. And even more max stamina. Okay, from all of these, I think the anti-spikes is gonna keep us in the game. That's, I think, the most important one because a lot of builds and a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of builds in general create a bunch of spikes or random buffs in general. Uh, I don't really care about the wooden. I do care about both of these. Let's go. Most likely the weapon of choice is going to be the Phoenix. I'm not getting the totems I want, but it's okay. I just don't need two more shells. We're going to make both of those wooden swords into shells. Having three shell totems is going to be enough. Having four or five is going to be better, obviously. Uh, we're both generating in power. Let's see which of us is going to be the one winning. I'm also generating heat and removing poison. They're not doing anything of that sort, so they're going to be kept blinded forever. No, they are removing blindness. They also get generating regen. Oh, they drank a potion. Oh no, they have Empress Blade. I just realized what's happening. We're going to lose. <laughs> uh, they have a better weapon than us. I mean, I'm still playing with the wooden sword here. We need to either find the Impractical Lives Greatsword or some kind of weapon that fits the build overall. Let's go another... Uh, no, no touch. Cool. Problem. And we found a Manekin Echo, which makes it so that we might find sales and godly and unique items trigger faster. I mean, I'm gonna take this because guess what's godly or and unique? Uh, the banner. We're gonna play with the banner. So this really fits the build. Uh, I don't think I can buy it right now though, so it's gonna just stay there. Attack speed. I would say yes. This is most likely gonna be used in some way or shape or form. Uh, I would like this to be touching this thing. So let's put it over here. Nah, I was thinking about doing something like that. That doesn't make sense. Uh, actually, yeah, this still gets the same amount of attack speed. Although now I'm giving more attacks with the garlic over the banana, which is stupid. Reorganize time. Okay, I think we're good here. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna buy the Manekineko next and uh, let's go. I would like to get the Phoenix, by the way. I think the Phoenix is gonna be my main weapon of choice. For the early game, at least. And I haven't found anything. 
So this guy is using an OLM plus a Hero Sword. They're pretty fast on Hero Sword than that, but also with 3 blind, they have a 90% hit. Now they're gaining luck slowly, so they're not gonna be that bad at hitting. No, they're not. That's not it. Oil Lamp is actually happening. Yeah, maybe should have had my Oil Lamp of myself now, wouldn't I? We still have energy issues. Why do we have energy issues with only literally two items? I don't know. We almost won. We lost at the very end with a crit of 26. We almost won and then we lost. And now we're going to actually go into our most busted item in the game, Burning Banner. So, holy items. The, the main aspect here is holy items activate 50% chance to inflict one blind for 5 seconds. That's what I'm trying to play with today. And every 3.6 seconds obviously removes buff from the opponent and gives us to region. So, uh, this should go somewhere where it is connecting with that. Now, this connecting with this means that this here is going to be cheaper now, as this is a holy item in itself. So, this is going to make that blind, and this is going to be cheaper because this is a holy item. We're going to buy the Manekineko now, and I would like it to be touching as many things. This is a 12-er. Okay, so we need to reorganize for sure for the Manekineko. And I would also like to buy a Ruby Egg, because the Dragon is a zero energy weapon. So, this is definitely a yes on our end. Reorganize time for the Manekineko to hit 40 coins, if possible. Okay, it's impossible because uh, this thing is costing, uh, yeah, I mean, right now we have 32 and I don't have anything that costs 8 in the build or 9. So I will most likely be able to achieve it with the Ruby Egg is what I'm seeing. So, uh, yeah, we'll continue with the Ruby next time here. Okay, I think we're ready. So um, let's go into this. Right now, the idea is that we're just going to be blinding the opponent. So the weapon of choice is either going to be um, an impractical large greatsword. If I can get an Arshel Totem, I would say an impractical large greatsword is a play. Or it's going to be a lightsaber so we can blind the opponents more. Right now, we are blind build. The idea is we blind the opponent as much as possible so that they cannot really attack us. Right, that's the main idea. I would like to also get a light Kubrit now that I'm thinking about this. That's a very, very helpful thing for blinding opponents. And they're also region. We're, like, we're a healing region build that blinds opponents to the core. That's like the idea here. We want the opponents not be able to really attack us. Uh, so right now we have 20 reasons. We are the same build, by the way. They have Burning Banner, we have Burning Banner. Uh, it's a race. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. That's gone, and I found a chili pepper, that's a very much a yes, and a ruby egg, that's obviously also a yes. We're gonna buy the ruby egg, as we need this to set up early. Uh, and now we will have issues with inventory management, so I definitely want the blind in this. I would say maybe some normal heat goes away. If anything, I would just sell three, four heat. Yeah, I'll just sell four heat. I'm keeping the swords in case we find shells, by the way, and we buy this. And uh, another heat's most likely gonna leave just because of that, what just happened. Uh, I would like this to be here. That's not really possible. Maybe it should be down here, though. That is possible. And the sword. I guess we can put the sword over here. Very nice. Just like that. And one blind is gonna become uh, cool. Nice. I think we're good. Let us uh, go. And actually, I can have the Manekineko now actually be expensive enough. Maybe over here. Not where I have it. So something like this. This is 32, and with this it's gonna go 50, uh, 42. So I need to just do a very, very simple transfer of items. We have done this thing a million times. Boom. And now this is 42, so this means a godly and unique items trigger to instant faster, and that includes the burning banner. Very nice. Uh, I still will not pick up the box of riches. The build is very far away from being done, and I don't even have all my inventory space done. This is also the healing plus more Amulet of Life. Amulet of Life for us would be really helpful. We already hit 18 hit, by the way, 19. And yeah, the more hit we have, obviously, everything fires faster. I need one more banana, by the way. We cannot maintain any um, energy whatsoever. We definitely need a banana. Uh, maybe two, that is. Or maybe just um, a Wolpen Tiger. That will also really help. Look at all the buffs we got. They don't really have that much going on for them. The spikes is definitely not happening. This The choice of getting a Draconic Orb was definitely yes. And we destroy these guys. They were not really able to do anything to us. And still have 7 in power. And I got my lightsaber. So I'm thinking about transitioning over to lightsaber build. This spends 1 energy. This spends 1.2. Now this also says use 3 regen to inflict 8 blind. And it does more damage per blind. Now, you know what? I think this is gonna just become... Uh, a Gubert. This is gonna become a light Gubert, so we blind the opponents even more. I'm not gonna go into the light idea in itself. Let's lock that in to buy it next turn. For now, I'm just gonna buy... Actually, should I buy this now? No, I don't think I should buy this now. 
Uh, let's buy this and throw in a blind, blind heat. I think that's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna roll once. And we found a banana. Perfect. That was the perfect roll. <laughs> Not have gone more perfect. Uh, I guess it should go up here to boost those things. And in that vein, we're gonna do the following. You go down here. You go up there. You see? We're min-maxing at least a little bit. And uh, yeah, let's go. I'm still keeping the swords in case we find more shells. I need more shells. And this guy has a very, very good prismatic orb here with 25% increased healing. Nice. This guy's playing this very well. I am super agreeing on that. Sun armor here. Moving V buffs and whatnot. So th this guy's not gonna get blinded no matter what happens. I'm also not gonna get blinded. We do have enough chili peppers to maintain everything. They have 12 in power. We have 8. I think we're losing this race. Uh, but they don't have... Oh, they do have a burning banner. Yeah, they, they straight up are better than us. But I have faster triggering banner. And them also getting... Yeah, we have 43 heat. I'm triggering a lot faster than what they do. That's the big difference maker, my boy. You don't have heat gain. You have heat removal because the Sun Armor uses one heat to heal for 12. And guess what? The same does the Molten Dagger. Use one heat to gain two damage. This was doing a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. 40 to 43. But you don't have heat gain in itself. So you were pretty much stuck. Big mistake there. 17 in power even. We still won. Nice. Yeah, they should have a cutoff of damage at some point. Whoop! The triangle, the fatigue. Yeah, but the Molten Dagger was very linear here while I had some conks going on because of energy issues. We still have energy issues. And we got... Wow. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, so artifacts don't heat. The best roll we could have possibly gotten can only be thrown once per battle. On hit, gain 3 heat. If I ever reach 10 heat, the weapon gains 8 damage. Yeah. So uh, this was extremely lucky. <laughs> could not have gone luckier than that. So, um, yeah, we're gonna buy that. And I'm also gonna get some attack speed here. You go one down, then you go over here, boom. And now this thing, actually, yeah, you can be here. So, oh, I got also a dragon. So we're gonna pull these all a, a, a bit, one down. And we're gonna say the dragon gets the damage. Uh, if anything, I would say this happens. So this at 47, and now I can just do this. And this is still at 42. Nice. Uh, and the attack speed goes to the dragon, honestly. I'm gonna reorganize time again. Yeah, we need to reorganize time again. Uh, let's first buy them. Uh, this is gonna become a light goobert, is what I'm thinking. Uh, do I want glowing crown? I mean, I could get the vulnerability. Cleansing. And this is also uh, healing, and it's also blinding. And it's also holy, so it's gonna help us with this being cheaper. Yeah, I think we're gonna buy that and then that. So we're a bit all over the place, don't get me wrong, but let me reorganize time again. My weapon is still a stupid wound sword. Maybe I should not even use the wound sword anymore and just go full on in with the ruby bulb. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, go full on in on the ruby bulb. Forget the sword for a moment. And uh, let's uh, reorganize time here. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we maintain the following idea. The idea is we want holy items to be surrounding uh, this thing. I don't have any other holy items. By the way, the fastest way to check holy items, just uh, get an item that says uh, something about holy items like this, and then just see how many stars you get. And as you can see, we're not getting any stars anywhere. So this is the only holy, holy item right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for the glowing crown next. I think I do gain 10 mana within the run, especially because I get a bunch of heat. And now I'm not using energy anymore. So because this thing is a ruby vault that uses zero energy to attack. Also, I can combine this... To making an obsidian dragon, but do I want an obsidian dragon? How much damage? 11 to 16. This is 5 to 10. So that's one more damage. Uh, accuracy 90, accuracy 90. Attack 2.2, attack 2.2. Uh, start of battle, gain 4 heat and reflect 2. At every 26 heat, gain 3 damage and trigger an extra attack. Uh, about 2 gemstones. Ooh, 2 gem slots. 1 gem slot. Honestly, uh, you know what? Yeah, might as well combine. I'm not really using... Nah, I don't want to combine them, man. I don't know. I do prefer the Ruby Bulb, although I'm, I am generating heat. Maybe I'm gonna combine them later. Right now we have inventory issue, so let's not get stuck with inventory issue management. We're gonna buy these next. I still want a Goobert for the lightsaber, and then the Glowing Crown itself is just gonna join us. As. And we want two more shells, of course. That's a bit far away. This guy has regen and healing, and they are blinded. Do they have a weapon? They're also going for the Wooden Sword build, I guess. They added an animation and a sound effect to the dragon, that's awesome. Well, I'm already at 24 heat here. Uh, they're not able to remove my things fast enough, and I'm still gaining in power, I'm still full life. They haven't done anything to us, we're literally full life. This thing is doing 17 to 22 damage. Now I really understand why I should have gone with the Obsidian Dragon, of course. And now I'm starting to lose life from fatigue, and they are fatigue built, so that's pretty bad for us. 
Uh, let's see the race happening. I'm losing from poison. I have regen. Uh, and we won. Very nice. Dragon did its job. So my scaling was going up and down because they were removing debuffs. Fatigue did the most damage for them. The rest of the will be well did. 135 damage there. 370 to 1 damage from fatigue. But I think healing kept us in the game. Yeah, 14 healing per second. They also have healing. They also have a lot. 13. I had more healing than them. Nice. And they were mainly bananas and whatnot. They didn't they weren't really healing. Uh, I'm gonna go glowing cron here. And that should join right this moment. So uh this goes here. It's a holy item, so this is gonna be cheaper, and it's also a holy item, so we're gonna be blinding the opponents. I'm gonna have a bit less life because right now I can't really fit anything here. Yeah, I need to like full on reorganize, but that's not really possible right now. I would say two more heat gate already is better. And also I would say, what does this do? Out of battle gain 15 armor and resist three ice if I put it in. Uh, nah. Nah, I prefer the two heat and cleanse three debuffs. Uh, let's roll once maybe inventory space. Twice. Nice. And chili pepper. Perfect. I will buy the inventory space, obviously, because we have inventory issues. Uh, this should go here. This should go there. So the crazy attack speed is for the banner, and then a little bit of attack speed for the glowing crown. Yeah, the glowing crown will also go down here, honestly. I think I can pull this one down. Yeah, just let's just go like that. So you go here, fast attacks. Both of these get good attack speed, and then you also get decent attack speed. And we still have the plus 10 damage if I ever hit, uh, reach hit 10. Uh, now I would say I should sell two heat to buy that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Sell you, sell you, and buy this. And this joins... Uh, this is a good connection here. If I had the middle piece... Which I don't. So... I guess here... This is just a single pointer. I would like to be able to connect it with two things. Something like that. Not connected to two things. I'm gonna lose more heat gain though. It's okay. You go over here and you go here for the blinding. I think it's decent-ish. Not perfect, but decent-ish. When I get my uh, when I get my single spar, that's gonna go one down and it's gonna go like that. I think we're good to go. Uh, let's go. I still want the light cubert. Is that a good idea? I don't know. It's gonna take us a while to get it. Well, let's go 46. This is trying to do the same as us. Maybe I should try to fish for another Manakineko. I'm having a decent amount of godly item. This is godly, this is godly, and this is unique. Okay, so they are super blinded. I don't think they're able to even hit us. Oh, this is actually an anti-blind weapon, so they don't really care, to be honest. But I'm taking their buffs away, so if they don't have enough luck to attack, they're not going to be able to attack. 12 empower. We won. Easy enough. This had how much damage? 25 to 30. Nice, and we got 44 heat. I found Aramanic Neko. Okay, I think I'm gonna start believing that we don't care about the lightsaber and the Gubert. We're, we're transitioning over to the other build. Uh, let's give me the Aramanic Neko. You go here. You go one down. That's 24. Actually, Aramanic Neko should be somewhere like... Somewhere else for sure. Maybe here or here. I need to reorganize for sure. Uh, yeah, we're gonna roll away from this. Also, oil lamp on the ruby vault could help. This is 90% accuracy, so it might hit, miss. I'm not really gaining luck in any way, shape, or form. I'm also not gaining blindness, it just has a bit of a miss rate. Uh, roll once. Oh, we found an energy fixer, but do I care about this now? I don't think I care about energy anymore. I mean, I'm not spending energy at all, only the shell totem is, so I don't care about banana either. So, uh, this is a bunch of random buffs, though. And also, because I'm a heat build, this is gonna give us a lot of random buffs, including heat and empower. Oh no, it's a uh, game the ones you have the least of. So it's mainly gonna give us um, spikes. And a bunch of energy regen. Do I even care about a bunch of energy regen? So first of all, we got inventory space. I'm thinking we sell a heat and a sword. If I find one more shell, it's good. I don't think I'm gonna find two more shells. And the build is already a bunch of different things anyway. So you go here. This is also a godly item, which makes it even better for the Manikinekos. And this also costs 12, so it's even, even, even better for the Manikinekos. So uh, I'm gonna say we sell both bananas. No, we sell one banana for sure. We sell a flame. Should I really sell my starting flame? Because starting flame is really carrying us here. Uh, first of all, this definitely should get combined. So, you have achieved your purpose now. You're gonna become a thing. This should go like that. 49. 
24. Maybe like this. No. This needs the thing. This is easy to get. Uh, maybe this should be over the other side. 33. I don't think I can cover 33 right now. With the Wolpen Tiger, it's going to be possible. So uh, let's get the Wolpen Tiger right now. I think a hard transition over to another build is not really the best idea. I'm going to keep one of them for sure. Yeah, let's let's not do hard transition. We're going to do the hard, the transition next turn. So we're going to stick to what we have. This is going to combine here. This is 44. This is 33. Next turn, this is going to be a bit more. So uh, with the Wolpen Tiger, that's like a 12-er. No, 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 no. I had a blind I should throw in the build. Eh, it is what it is. 60 over here. This is a magic build and this is a reflect debuffs build. Well, good thing is I, I remove my debuffs and I don't care about getting debuffed in the first place. Now, they do have spike gain, which is irrelevant to us as I'm a ranged weapon build anyway. Yeah, they're a toast. They, they cannot fight us. Look at our 44 heat gain here. 10 and power even became immune. It's over. I think we can counter mostly everything. We are a healing, shielding and everything in between build. And we got the obsidian dragon. So this thing is huge. That's what she said. And then let's go over here with Boom. That's the place for it to be. 52, 32. Um, yeah, this is so... Po yeah, this is... How expensive is this? 18. Okay. Yeah, that uh, in, in itself is insane. And I now have two Manekin Echoes powered up and ready to go. So that means 40% fast activation on this. On this. On this. Like on everything that is... Holy... <laughs> Uh, definitely throw this in. Uh, let's get the Wolpen Tiger, and I would say it should... Is this holy? No, do I care about this now that I'm thinking about this? Like, this is gonna mainly give us spikes. I want the Phoenix, man. I want the Phoenix. Uh, this could be the healing version. Let's roll into the healing version or the food version. Both of those are good. It's the food version. So, we got food triggers 30% faster on all of my food items, which mostly give us heat anyway. I'm not gonna buy this. Roll. And I found the Phoenix and inventory space. Very nice. And I also found a Prism Orb, which I will definitely buy and put on my wooden sword, as that's a holy item in the making. This is an everything item in the making, actually. And this here gain a one of every type of buff every seven seconds. Yeah, now we're still gonna stick to the wooden sword. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy the legendary sword for sure. So we're gonna go here. I should have the wooden sword in the build, by the way. Like, the only downside of having this is maybe not getting in power once in a while. Actually, that is a pretty big downside. You know what? I don't need this. Actually, this is gonna definitely join. I don't need this. We're not gonna combine them. This joins. This says every seven seconds gain one of every type of buff. That's good. This also joins. All of these join. Let's go. Because we have a double mana giving us attack speed. And this is gonna gain damage every time we get 26 heat. And it's gonna also get attack speed. So we're about to hit the first uh, 26 heat gained. Uh, damage, not attack speed. It's gonna hit for free is what I meant to say. And uh, we're still full life, so we're still gaining in power. And this thing just gained damage and attacked. Let's go 8 in power. We're still at full life, so we're still gaining in power. Nice 10 in power still here. And now I got my first immunity going on. 12 in power. This doesn't have a life this issue. 13 on power. This is doing 33 to 43 damage. It's a race. It's a race. They have more mana. Yeah, we won. Very nice. They had more healing through the heart container. But we won through just sheer power. And now we're going to also go into Phoenix play. So uh, this should be... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where this should go, man. This doesn't really fit right now. Uh, let's buy this, honestly. As this fits right this moment. I would like this to be here. So this is also a holy item. Yep, and it's connected to three holy items. That means we're going to have 15% increased healing gain, which is pretty nice. Uh, and I still want the Phoenix, though. Don't get me wrong. So the Phoenix should join next turn. Let's roll once, maybe, inventory space. Didn't find it. I found a holy item, a heart container, which is going to increase our healing if I try to go for that. But I don't think we need to go for that. Let's go. My healing is mainly happening through regen and through this thing firing. I didn't find the single second shell, by the way. Uh, so this is a crits build with a million buffs. I just got destroyed. <laughs> Exploded. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we knew this was the fastest build in the universe. Uh, this is a very, very classic build. You go hammer, but plus a bunch of luck. So this has a 80% chance of stun. If it stuns, guess what? 13, 13, and 11 damage coming in. This is death if you ever find this anywhere. You can beat this with shields, by the way. If you have a bunch of shields, this is easily counterable. But we didn't have a shield. 80 DPS there. We, we got destroyed. That was fair enough. 
Fair enough, and I found my shell. I found my shell I was crying about so this whole time. Uh, the shell should... Yeah, I'm gonna just combo the shell over there. Let's get attack speed for sure. Attack speed or the Phoenix? No, attack speed and the Phoenix. I mean, this cost 3 and the Phoenix cost 11. You join and you join. So now I will have two of these, and because I will have two of these, I will be able to heal a bit more. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Uh, I would like this to go here, and then just push the rest to the right. Uh, actually, reorganize time, honestly. Just reorganize time. Okay, we're back and ready. So, uh, the idea is that we have this Phoenix now, which does the following. Uh, first of all, it does damage. It attacks. It's a weapon. It doesn't spend energy. And on attack, we lose 11 health. Now, we're supposed to have a lot of healing alongside the Shell Totem. We also have the Glowing Crown. We also have Regen from the Burning Banner. We also have a bunch of healing from the Chili Peppers. So, theoretically, we should be healing all this damage that this thing does to us. This says, use all of your heat to reincarnate with 6 health per heat once. The later this triggers, the more of a chance we have to survive. And even if we lose all our heat, therefore all our attack speed, we still will maintain the region we have and that is the main play here the fact that we maintain region so let's see how this is gonna go as long as we uh, get the phoenix trigger as late as possible we're gonna be good and i have one in power right now and also 18 here we got all the buffs because we have this thing every 3.76 seconds giving us all the buffs in the game which is obviously very very powerful because getting all the buffs in the game includes region includes empower we're gonna become immune here we got the 10 mana boom and also includes vampirism although vampirism is a bit irrelevant as these are ranged weapons and they don't take vampirism and this guy's toast we destroy them we are still very far away from dying uh, we have too much empower here empower is everything gets damage it's over it's over it's over they're gone my empower is uh, phoenix does 22 dps and this thing does 38 dps my overall dps is 36 and they had 14 and my healing is uh 14 so their dps was my healing yeah they had no chance but 14 dps is very low so this wasn't really a fight honestly we got another shell totem so this is obviously gonna go ahead and join over here i would say or here I think this, uh, I mean, it should be in the middle, so it gets more hits, honestly. Because if this goes here, it's gonna be a bit worse. If it goes here, it's also worse. And this should go here. The banner should go one up. Yeah, we need to reorganize just a smidge bit. We need to find inventory space. I found also a weapon of choice that I wanted previously. I am gaining enough in power for this to be insane, of course. But I'm gonna stick to the, the pets. And we found inventory space. So you go here, you go here. Now I actually can do this as I want. So I would like the banner to go one up. So this is maxed out. No, this is not maxed out. None of these are maxed out. You should go here and you should go here. Now both of these are maxed out. Yep, and we're not going to have energy issues. Why do I have an issue with that, actually? We don't care about energy issues. Yeah, we're like, literally don't care about energy issues. So, uh, these can be wherever they want to be. It, it really doesn't matter. So, uh, let me reorganize. Do I care about spikes? No, we have anti-spikes anyway. Although, this is going to give us heat, right? Because if opponents generate spikes, then I'm going to take it away and heat up. So let's take this because of the concept I just mentioned. The Phoenix cannot have a weapon. Uh, why? Why can the Phoenix not have one of these? Anyway, uh, the food is not perfectly set up, I would say. It's decent-ish, though. The banana is in a good spot. I would like this to be one more to the left. Can this be here? Like, can you go anywhere else? And then you go like that, and this goes here. Nice, now everything is sped up. You go here, and I think we're good to go. Can I flip this in a way where it doesn't take too much space away? I guess not. I think we're good to go. This now has four items connected to it. So we have four items that have a 50% chance to blind the opponents for five seconds. And these four items also trigger like every three seconds, every three seconds, every, I think, four seconds. I mean, every second, seven, honestly, and every 2.5. So we have a lot of holy items actually doing their job. Uh, do I care about random heat gains like this one? I don't think so. And like this one, I don't think so. Like this is two heat. Like who cares? We're going to roll maybe once. Uh, wow, final glowing crown. We definitely want to buy that uh, because this gives us a region, actually healing. And also it's going to make us invulnerable. This is going to fire faster and faster throughout the fight. We're gonna become invulnerable twice. And the more healing we have, the better anyway. So, um, yeah, we definitely want that. The dragon's too late. We're gonna buy that next, and then that's gonna most likely be the run. We found out wouldn't sword at the very, very end, but we didn't find our shell, so that's good. And uh, let's go. Healing is still increased. And let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, we got my two empower, four empower, five empower. This, by the way, fires every 3.47. We are the same build. Let's speed this down, by the way. Let's speed this down. 
We are both playing Manikineko. We're both playing Crown Healing. We're both playing Empower. We're both playing Prismatic. Both playing Burning Banner. They are playing Daggers, though. So, uh, we are winning this. You know why? Because I have a Phoenix and they don't. Uh, by the way, the idea of eating away spikes from the opponent to gain heat actually worked out. We are out heating them. Also, I have a lot more... I have more attack speed on my... These... Look at this. 1.89. Theirs is 2.87. And they are gonna kill us first. But even if they do, we have 50 full heal from the Phoenix. They don't. So, uh, the moment we die, boom, we're full health. And you're not full health. So, yes, you are still gaining buffs. I just lost all my heat. Actually, am I gonna lose twice? Oh, the Vampirism is killing us because they have melee weapons. Ah, that's what killed us here. They won. They won. My bad. Should have gone with melee weapons. It is what it is. I was only almost flexing on them, but I guess I was wrong on the flex. They are actually beating us. Wow. How much damage was it doing? 98 to 102. 82 to 86. Man, the oil lamps did the difference. I should have gone with oil lamps. Yep, if I had bought both the oil lamps that appeared, I could have had a godlike obsidian dragon. But I opted out of it. Should have gone for the oil lamps. Maybe I should do an oil lamp build, honestly. That's also a smart idea. That's also a fun idea. 46 DPS here on their end. Uh, 51 DPS on our end. So did they outheal us? 35 on our end. And uh, 47, yeah, they outhealed us. That's the main thing that killed us here. We out DPS them, but they outhealed us because they were using the lamps to actually vampirism. And I just realized something. They had three prismatic orbs, man. It makes sense that we lost against this man. We only had one prismatic orb. I think that's the big difference maker. If I had one more prismatic orb, that could have been the difference maker. Literally one more prismatic orb so that I would have had literally double the buffs I had. And the spikes definitely also helped. Like, uh, how much spike damage? I did 42 damage with spikes. Uh, I think at some point they were pretty low. Yeah, at some point they were at 39. 39 here. At that point, I did 15 damage from spikes. Did they go lower than 39? I think their lowest was that 30-something. Yeah, I think their lowest was that 39 over here. So, you know what? Old Sift was right. Phoenixes are not a good idea because if you lose your heat, you lose the fight. Uh, I mean, that's not fair because this guy had crazy healing. Okay, we got Manakineko, Inventory Space, and Glowing Crown. And I have one turn, so literally I can buy everything right now. So Inventory Space is forced because otherwise I'm going to be needing to throw something out. Although I can just throw out these blinds, by the way, because I start believing they don't do anything. Uh, so let's sell the three blinds. Uh, definitely, I definitely want to buy both of these. So I need 11 coins. Uh, this all together is... 21. Right? And I also need the inventory space to fit all this. Uh, do I even have the inventory space right now? Because if I have the inventory space right now, we're good. But Nikineko joins because it's 20% faster attack on everything. And it fits right now anyway, so it, it joins as is. Okay, that's done. So, 28%. It, it says 28, but it's gonna become more. I mean, this is like 10. So, I'm thinking inventory space is next. Flip this like that. This is still... Th and then you go like... Boom and boom. And this is now... So we get 60% attack speed right now and 60% chance to resist crits. By the way, we lost the fight against the crit build and we got critted like crazy. So this resisting crits is a joke. Whatever. And now I will just sell to region, I would say. And to heat. And I got my crown. And then I would like to reorganize again because I want the crown to be like here. Or here for that matter. It could fit here. It should fit here. Then this phoenix can go anywhere I want it to go. I'm gonna just have a bit less max life, like who cares. Oh, it's the exact same amount, actually. I'm not gonna have less max life. Okay, so we fit everything. Three mana Kinecos. Let's go and see. It would have been nice if I had one more prismatic orb. Now this here is pretty decent as is. We are getting 20% healing increase. And these are still less mana. And we're gonna go with a double weapon, both of them being pets. Let's see how this goes. And this is a buff build with a busted blade. Let's see how this we scale against this. And this is oh, another oil lamp build. You know what? I really, really want to do an oil lamp build now. I want to do an oil lamp build with 10 oil lamps. I don't know, man. I'm not going to get 10 oil lamps, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's see how this goes. We're taking buffs away. Let's not forget that. That is a big aspect of having a burning banner. One, 164 here. Do they gain enough buffs and speed? Do they gain the buffs fast enough for us to not be able to get them away? Let's also not forget we're taking spikes also away. Um, so each spike they have is heat for us 
and everything else we just take away randomly we took away their empower they're dying man there it's over for them right now they are in their power mode their dual world guardian mode with only one spike color so uh good luck with that my dude but i don't think you're gonna survive this what is this by the way maximum damage dealt by spikes against melee and melee attacks Ooh, that's cool anyway 22 empower and you're gone yep next hit should kill you uh they are taking very low damage right now and they also have a shield of valor but it's too late too late 24 and power 52 heat this thing was doing 49 to 54 this thing was doing 39 to 44 and uh we didn't even lose our first life like the phoenix didn't even die and we were still full life so um yeah easy enough win for 259 they had 590 life we still uh, we threw them 44 total damage 12 on their end did they even have healing they healed 10 per second i was healing 27 per second so we just beat them in all aspects i would have liked to be able to fight the previous fight again with one more mannequin echo man i would have really liked to do that and one more glowing crown so i had two glowing crowns this time and two mannequin echo uh, one more mannequin echo could have made the difference maybe not maybe not but it would have been a fun uh, thought experiment but now i cannot do that because there is nothing like that in the game so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and tomorrow i'm gonna try to do the oil lamp build because that seems to be exciting with what weapon i'm gonna do it i don't know maybe ripsaw blade to counter everything maybe i'm gonna see i'm gonna see we're gonna see with what we're gonna do that anyway hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around